Hello everybody, Greg Stagger here, your K-12 tech guy, with a quick video to show you how to use the concatenate formula within Google Spreadsheets. Now the concatenate formula is not exclusive to Google Spreadsheets and can be used in other spreadsheet programs, but hopefully uh, through this method, uh, Google Spreadsheets is free, of course, and you would have the opportunity to create some spreadsheets and put this formula to good use. Now the concatenate formula is a formula that allows you to take information from multiple cells or uh, other text information that's not found in other cells in your spreadsheet and combine it together into one cell. Uh, the example I'm going to use here is to combine a first, middle, and last name into a full name all in one cell. Well, let's get our columns set up here. So we'll create one for uh, the first name, and we'll create one for the middle name, and one for the last name here. And then we'll skip a couple lines over here, and we'll put the full name right there. Now, why might I want to do this? Well, in some cases, you may have a need to sort by first, middle, and last name. And if you have all three names in one cell, you're not going to be able to sort that way. But at the same time, you may have a need to pull all the information about the full name together from one cell rather than have all kinds uh, of different cells with that different information in it. So it's a good way for you to uh, put things together. But rather than typing it over first, middle, last, and then coming over here and typing first, middle, last again, and even doing a copy and paste from these three <laughs> cells each over to here uh, is going to be very time consuming and just, just clunky altogether. So let's use the concatenate formula. Um, first, we're going to go over to the first one, uh, the first cell that's underneath our full name column. And we're going to start creating our formula by using the equals sign. So we type that equals in there. And all formulas are going to start that way. So make sure you have that in there. Then we start to type in concatenate. C-O-N-C-A-T-E-N-A-T-E. -E -E. Concatenate is kind of a big, ugly word. But as you type it in, uh, you'll see that there's some information that comes up about the syntax, how it's written. So you take the different text that you want, separate that information by a comma. Um, it does show you the parentheses in here to open and close uh, the things that you want to combine. Uh, you can read that at your convenience. I'm going to keep typing here. The next thing I need is an open parenthesis, so we'll type that in there. Now, uh, what the formula is going to look for now is what is the first set of information that I'm going to put together in this cell. And what I want to do is take my first name, which is going to be in A2, in this cell right here. So I'm going to type A2. And as I type that, you see that this cell highlights here. And what I want to do now is add the middle name onto that. But I have to separate my arguments here by a comma. So I'm going to take a comma and put in a space. Now I want to add the middle name. Now, if I just put B2, it'll take that first name and the middle name and, and put them right next to one another. No space. Well, that's going to look kind of weird. So we want to make sure we have a little space in between. Now, because the space isn't in a cell, I want to add that as a keyboard stroke. So when I do that, I have to use quotes in between uh, all of that business there. So I'm going to type a quote. I'll put my space bar in, type an ending quote, and now there will be a space between my first and middle name. End that with my comma, hit a space to go on to my next piece of information, which is the middle name. I want the middle name from B2. So we type B2. That cell highlights. I put my comma to end that one. Hit space to go to the next one. I want another space bar. So I'm going to hit quote, hit my space, end quote. Now I'll have a space between my middle name and my last name. Hit my comma to end that one. Space to go to the next one. And then I want my last name, which is going to be C2. Type that in, we see that C2 highlights. So we know that those are the three cells that are going to be added together with spaces in between the values that are found within each of those cells. I'm all done combining things, so I'm going to put my ending parenthesis in here 
just like that. We'll hit Tab to finalize that uh, by moving on to the next cell. Now, if I go back to this cell and click on it and highlight it, you see there's nothing written in the cell where I typed it all in. But up above here, you still see the formula written on this formula bar, which is symbolized by this right here. If for some reason you don't see the formula bar in your Google Docs, just go up to View and then choose Formula Bar. Make sure that that's checked so that you can see your formula bar and what's in there. Now, we're not quite done yet. We've got one more thing we need to do. When I type in a first, middle, and last name, it's going to add them all together right here on this line. But what happens when I go down to the next one and the next row, row three? Oh, there's no formula here, so we have to populate the rest of these rows with the formulas. Does that mean I have to type them all again? No, not at all. Uh, there's a nice little shortcut. If you highlight this cell that we just typed in our formula, there's a little box right in the lower right corner there, and if you hover over that little box, the little blue square there, uh, you see that your cursor turns into a crosshair. So go ahead and click and drag it down and then let go. And now what it's going to do is replica, uh, replicate that formula over all of these different cells. So now I've got A2, B2, C2, and if I go down, oh look, it's A3, B3, and C3. Four, five, six. Google automatically changed the formula to represent the line that it's on. So that's a nice quick little short way to do that. Alright, so now let's see how this works. We'll start typing in some names. Um, let's go Alan, Robert, Johnson. Look at that. It adds it all together for me, puts the spaces in. Here, let's go ahead and extend this out so it all fits on one line there. And uh, perfect. We'll try another one here. Um, Dean, Alan, Foster. Awesome. Got the capital O in there even. Shelby, Lynn, Rue. Not being very creative here, am I? But you get to see uh, how this works. Um, I don't have to type all that information in again. It does it all for me and saves me lots and lots of time being able to do that. Um, you can also create the concatenate formula after you've typed in all the first, middle, and last names, maybe at that point you decided, oh, I'd like to have them all together on one line. Uh, you don't have to do the formula beforehand like we just did. Uh, you can do it afterwards. So I hope that you found this information helpful. Thanks. Have an awesome day.